right here's one of my uh, favorite standard conventional climbing stands I think it was uh, made by Lone Star Tree Stands I think they're out of business now um, I'm not sure why they're out of business um, I'm not actually weighed this tree stand but I'm thinking it weighs between 16 and 18 pounds uh, what I really like about this it's a uh, really as comfortable as a one of the more comfortable summit tree stands um, it has a sling seat has a shooting rail foot rest um, it's really comfortable it's a little bit louder than a summit attaching it to the tree but it folds flatter it really folds flat as you can see um, climbing it climbs really good it's really quiet climbing attaching to the tree it's a little bit loud it's really stable when you get it up into the tree it's really safe feeling um, it's probably my best tree stand as far as a conventional climber goes it um, it's just really stable when you get it up into the tree um, I added some backpack straps to it you can see there I think they're off of an Alice or Molly pack it's got the shoulder straps with the waist strap it makes it really pack a lot better it's really comfortable packing in for you know the size and the weight um, off to the left is one of my new adventures uh, what that is it's a tree saddle I have one of the warmer tree saddles. I believe it's got some leather in it and stuff, so it's kind of warm. So I kind of elected to uh, go ahead and put the saddle around a lone wolf hand climbing uh, seat. I believe it's called a sit and climb. It's the top portion uh, basically what I'm using the top portion for is my base it just look works like a uh, mini climbing tree stand I believe that hand climber weighs about five pounds uh, right there is the strap that goes around the tree for the lone wolf hand climber I've got foot stirrups where you put your feet you know to climb uh, I actually got a strap tied to the um, lone wolf stand and I just got a quick disconnect snap it snaps to the saddle so if you're climbing and for some reason the base would you know slip down the tree a little bit it wouldn't slide to the bottom and you wouldn't have to hug the tree on the way down um, I've had that experience with some of the older climbing tree stands and it's always a fear that that'll happen but you know with a, a strap or rope or something attaching the two you know there's no way that can happen um, I've actually got the you know the Molly uh, shoulder straps on this one uh, I haven't actually weighed this one either I'm thinking it weighs around the eight pound range and I mean as you can see I mean it's like two you know a third to half the size of the conventional climber uh, it packs really comfortable you don't even really notice it's on your back um, last couple of years as I've been getting older seems like you know the weight on your back's an issue so I'm trying to come up with a better solution as far as carrying stuff in I'd like to hunt have the option to hunt from a tree but it'd be kind of nice to not have you know what you would notice as being weight on your back be kind of nice not you know not to um, be held down by you know what you're carrying with you uh, the backpack straps um, 
the bottoms have a locking mechanism so if you get it on your back and uh, you know you can't get out of it you just unsnap that and it unlocks it's got the shoulder uh, chest snap harness so you can tighten it the straps I got it hanging from the tree that's just uh, the saddle I tack or I tuck that in uh, you know when I'm packing it uh, I might have to change the position uh, the position of this uh, um, come along uh, ratchet strap or whatever uh, what the ratchet strap is is I'll turn this around here my son mentioned you know using the lone wolf climber you know you're going to cut down on weight and everything because you're not going to have to carry any sticks in or you know you're not going to have to screw in those steps which you know people don't really like you doing um government land it's illegal so you know you you've got a, a climbing setup that's super light but he thinks you know i'm going to lose the capability of the saddle where i you know can go all the way around the tree uh one advantage of the saddles compared to a conventional stand is also I mean you're right up against the tree I mean the tree camouflages you a lot more than what a conventional tree stand uh, would uh, we uh, got drew for a draw hunt yesterday and my son kind of uh, had that experience because he was using a conventional summit stand and he got spotted you know with the deer the deer seen him and spooked he ended up shooting a smaller buck but um, you know he was saying that if he was hunting from his saddle that he doesn't think that you know the deer would actually see him so that's an advantage of the saddle too I mean it's light it's really secure I mean I don't see how any you know way you know once you're in it you know snapped in secured I mean you can't fall I mean they people complain about how it looks like it's uncomfortable but I, it's one of the most comfortable stands I've hunted from um, the way I'm getting up into the tree I'm taking the lineman's belt uh, I'll have another video of me climbing you know but I don't have to have someone uh, video tape me you know, I can't really self-tape that, but uh, I've been taking the lineman's belt and cinching it around the tree and then uh, attaching the carabiner into the uh, lineman's belt, you know, to the bridge on the saddle and then sliding it up as far as I can on the lineman's belt and you get about three... Uh, engaged climb steps out of it and then you just move the lineman's belt up and then get three more climbs uh, my son I don't know if I brought this up but he was saying that how he thought I would lose the capability of going around the tree so I went ahead and put my strap on four steps so my last two or three uh, climbs you know to the highest position I'm gonna strap these around the tree and put all four in various positions on the other side and then climb with the base to where it's almost even and then that way I uh, can go all the way around the tree it adds a little bit more weight but I'm just using it as one of my uh, straps to strap the saddle around uh, I elected not to like I said I elected not to uh, wear the saddle in because of the heat and sweating and I don't want to sweat and you know alert the deer another thing is if you're hunting in a situation where there's a lot of cover and briars and everything uh, you know you're gonna get metal contact and noise out of that and this way you just got material um, I 
bungee corded my uh, pack for the saddle just on the back and I've got the steps you know so it packs up there real nicely I got my straps in there it holds a drink and over here is one of my other ideas I uh, have a climbing rope in there with a pursuit knot on it when I get up into the tree I wrap it around the tree and uh, I've got a carabiner on it um, then what I do is I attach my crossbow or gun to it and it's cinched to the tree um, there's no way the gun or crossbow can fall it's attached to the tree just like you are if you see a deer or whatever you're hunting you know you just pick up the bow or gun hold on to the pursuit knot and slide the pursuit knot down and you have as much slack as you need and uh, then you know when you want to put it back you just slide the pursuit knot back up and there you are um, I've researched this on the internet on a lot of forums on YouTube um, a lot of people have a lot of good ideas I've just kind of put some of these together and hopefully it'll work out for me and there's a other stand compared to this stand comfort wise I mean they're about the same as comfort but this is a lot lighter packing in thanks a lot and bye